This is Fresco Ball. It's a traditional Brazilian game that you play on the beach. It has a pretty easy concept. You value a rubber ball between two wooden paddles. As you can see, George and Paula are pretty good at it, but Morgan and myself, we suck. We're here in Ubatuba. We're chilling on the beach, and I'm not sure life could get any better. This day is getting older In fading light It's beautiful This wind is blowing colder And too soon I'll feel its pull Still I took all my chances Earned myself an even scar Try to learn my lessons well Okay, I do have one story that I want to say about coincidences. Do I believe in them? Yes, I do. But sometimes when insane things like these happen, it makes me question everything around me and just wonder how does this stuff even happen in the first place. So on a random Tuesday, George decided that we would uh, go check out Praia do Felix just north of Ubatuba. There was six people out in the ocean, including George and myself. And uh, we're just out paddling and surfing. And so four other people were out there. And there's another guy that comes strolling up and he's talking some English and we start talking to him. Come to find out that this dude has lived in Ohio for the past six years of his life. So in a lesser known beach of Brazil, three of us have lived at least a portion of their lives in Ohio. We're on the other side of the world and we're in a city in Brazil that I didn't even know existed before this trip. I mean, what are the chances? I just thought that was a crazy coincidence. And I don't have the answers for those questions anymore. Only love can be both heaven and hell. So sturdy up, sturdy up your heart. For the road is long. Early morning, sun to rise. Morgan in the field to wake you, me up. Even though we're apart. But your road is yours to tread. We're up kind of early, not really, but we're leaving Ubatuba and heading to Padachi, Brazil today. Parachi uh, used to be a port city, still has a little little port there, but uh, it's the end of uh, the gold route, basically, what it's called in Brazil. It's an old route where they came from Diamantina, which is a city on the north of Minas Gerais, bringing gold down so the Portuguese would get the gold there in Parachi and take it to Portugal. But uh, the city is around. Uh, the gold route didn't have that much gold as they thought, so it became a slave route to take slaves up the country. Uh, so uh, we, we started in Parachi, which is a city with a lot of history, crazy old uh, paved roads uh, with rocks brought from uh, Portugal, and uh, super good restaurants, fun city, but with a lot of history. Parachi, Brazil. I'm not sure what to say about this city, but with the cobblestone streets and the colonial style houses, it's like we're stepping back in time to the 1700s. The city has the feeling of being preserved in history. Maybe get to jump in the water a little bit. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just 
so long for the ride. <laughs> no, I really did. I am actually. We're here. The colors are pretty. Everything is pretty. I love it. <laughs> all right so we just got our visa application resubmitted we are currently under a tourist visa in brazil um, which allows us to be here for six months out of a one-year period we are coming up on that six months here in about two months and we'd like to stay a little bit longer so brazil opened up a new nomad visa which we are trying to apply for um so they sent us back some stuff and we're resubmitting again and hoping for the best. 